Montana rental laws govern all rent-related matters from lease agreements to eviction. Whether you're a landlord or tenant, knowing your rights and obligations from a legal standpoint can help you avoid costly legal battles or penalties from the state. In this video, we'll give you an overview of what the state law says about lease agreements, required disclosures, security deposits, and evictions. Worry forms the largest online database of fillable legal forms. Check out the link below to access a fillable lease agreement template. Let's first go over the basics. What is a lease agreement? A lease agreement is a rental contract between a landlord and a tenant. Depending on the type of agreement, whether it's a month to month lease, a standard agreement or a rent to own, both the landlord and tenant are bound to specific terms regarding the length of the lease, termination and more. Because a lease agreement is legally binding once it's signed, breaking the contract can result in hefty fines or even legal action. Next, let's look at the required disclosures. The state of Montana requires the landlord to make a total of five disclosures to the tenant. Mold disclosure. The landlord must attach a disclosure to the rental contract stating that they have no prior knowledge of any mold existing on the property. Methamphetamine lab disclosure. If the property was ever used as a meth lab or has been contaminated from the use of meth, the landlord must disclose this information to the tenant and state whether the residence has been remediated. Move in checklist. If the landlord receives a security deposit, they must provide the tenant with a document that allows them to report any pre-existing damages on the property. Landlord manager agent identification. The landlord must state the names of anyone authorized to enter the premises on their behalf in the lease. Lead-based paint disclosure. If the property was built on or before 1978, federal law requires the landlord to disclose the possible presence of harmful lead-based paint on the premises. Now, let's take a closer look at the security deposit laws. In Montana, there is no limit on how much the landlord can request for a security deposit. Under state law, the security deposit must be returned to the tenant within 10 days of moving out if there are no deductions to the deposit. If deductions have been made to the security deposit, the landlord must provide an itemized statement along with funds within 30 days of the lease termination. Finally, let's cover Montana's eviction laws. In Montana, a landlord may evict a tenant under the following requirements. Non-payment of rent. If the tenant is late on rent, the landlord can issue a three-day notice to quit. This gives the tenant three days to pay the rent due in full or move out. Termination. If the landlord wants to terminate a month-to-month -month lease for reasons other than non-payment of rent or non-compliance, they must provide 30 days notice to the tenant. Terminating a week-to-week -week lease requires seven days notice. Non-compliance. If the tenant violates any terms of the lease other than non-payment of rent, the landlord can issue a notice to quit depending on the type of severity of the violation. Curable violations include unauthorized persons or pets, three days notice to cure or quit. Refusal to allow access is 24 hours to allow access or move out within 14 days. Changed, removed or added locks without permission, 24 hours to fix or move out within 14 days. Destruction or damage to the premises, three day notice to cure or quit. Any other violation of the lease agreement is a 14 day notice to cure or quit. On the other hand, incurable violations are reserved for more serious breaches such as sublease or abandonment, immediate notice to quit, charged with the production of illegal drugs or gang related activity, a three day notice to quit, repeating a violation within six months, a five day notice to quit. Want to learn more about Montana rental laws? Visit the link in the video description for a comprehensive breakdown on all things related to lease agreements, evictions, and more.